Hello, this is Ray Scarrett welcoming you to this time of night prayer. Today's date is Friday the 18th of December and this service is coming from my home. So as we make ourselves comfortable and sit quietly, let's focus our thoughts on God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. So as we sit quietly, let's reflect on today. Let's bring to mind all we've said, all we've done and all we've thought, for good or ill. And remember all those you've met or encountered, and rest in God's presence. So collecting our thoughts together, we say the confession. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our reading for today is taken from 1 Thessalonians. God has destined us not for wrath, but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. And we'll dwell on that for a moment. And now we say together the Nunc Dimittis. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Now we just have a time of our own silent prayer. During this time, just thank God for his presence and his patience with you throughout today. If anyone or anything is troubling you, tell God about the situation and ask him to help you to trust him and release you from the burden of anxiety. And again, after about a minute, I'll finish with a prayer.
Father, as we join together in worship, we open our hearts to your love and we surrender our wills to your purpose. May your holiness quicken our conscience. May your truth nourish our mind. May your beauty purify our imagination. Teach us to worship you in spirit and in truth, turning our self-centred pride into adoration, submitting all we have and are to you, and keeping our gaze fixed on Jesus. All this to the glory and praise of your holy name. Amen. And from our prayer calendars, calendars today, we pray for the Taylor family. That's John, Chris, Alex, Holly and Ruby. And we also, um, oh, may they know God's blessing, his presence and his peace this night. And we also remember the place of welcome, all those that come and all those that lead it. And now we join together in the church family prayer. This is our prayer. Come Holy Spirit and make us one in heart and action so that we can serve God faithfully, abounding in love, maturing in holiness and seeking out the lost. Help us grow as disciples of Jesus in commitment, in depth and in number that we may be a blessing to Amington to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. And our night prayer. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And finally, in peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.